Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Zaro. I'm an occupational therapy student at Worcester State University and today we'll be going over the Kawa model. The Kawa model is an occupational therapy approach that was developed in Japan. The purpose of this theory is to put emphasis on Japanese culture because the occupation-based models that were already developed in Western occupational therapy practice did not accommodate the Japanese beliefs and principles. This picture illustrates the four main elements of the Kawa model and how they are interpreted in occupational therapy practice. Each element represents a specific aspect of the client's life. The client is not included as an element. The Kawa model uses a river metaphor to explain how a client exists within the, within the interactions between all of the elements. So to start, I'll explain that Kawa means river in Japanese, so that's why it is called the Kawa model. The first element of the, of the model is water. The water of the river represents the client's life flow and their health status. This starts from birth, or the river's source, until death, when the river empties into the ocean. In OT practice, we look at the client's birth until present day, usually when the client is being evaluated. The rocks are the second element. The rocks in the picture represent the client's life circumstances, challenges, and problems that they encounter throughout their life. The rocks can vary in size. In the picture, there are smaller rocks and bigger rocks. These, the rock side, size depend how much of an impact they make on life flow. These rocks can represent the client's injury, illness, or misfortunes. The third element is the driftwood. The driftwood float in the water and represent the client's personal assets and liabilities. These can help increase water flow by clearing rocks away, like it is shown on the left side, and this will create room for new pathways that make for better life flow. The driftwood can also add to the jams and create more barriers in the client's life. The riverbed and the river sides, shown in the black shaded areas, are the fourth element. They represent the client's external environmental factors and the effect of social factors and relationships in their life. As these factors change throughout a client's life, the width and the depth of the river also changes. This element can positively or negatively impact the flow of water, depending on how narrow or how wide and deep the river is, more water can flow. The spaces between the elements in a client's river provide opportunities for the occupational therapist to implement occupational therapy interventions that shift the elements and introduce change to a client's life. The goal is that these interventions create new pathways of flow. The river metaphor can be used to illustrate the complexities of a client's life and their occupational profile. It can be used as a way to physically show the client how different therapeutic occupations and strategies can help the client reach their goals and then in turn promote health and wellness in their life. Thank you for watching.